Cheers, guys. We're going to install the um, the RAM into the system. Just have to ground myself for a moment. For a moment. Now, <coughs> these are the dim slots. Um, ideally, all the RAM that you use is of the same type. We're going to use the four RAMs, which are going to go in there. Just make sure to first. Pull these guys back over here, and then they can only go in one way, so yeah, that's the wrong way. <laughs> so put them in there, and we should um, come on. I know you want this as much as I want it, yeah, like that. Okay, so and then push it down until it clicks. Uh, that should be it. That is the first dim installed. And that is going to be the second one. Yep, push that down. Come on. We're going to use DDR forum as I already explained. It's not that exciting. that and we're going to use a low profile RAM from Corsair sounds good come on over here we have to put them all in the right orientation if you do not fill all the slots that your motherboard has you have to read into in the instruction how you're actually supposed to Put it in. That's why these guys are differently colored. You can see there are two black ones and two gray ones. All right, they are in now. And we got the last one. Come on, these aren't too fiddly. I think they shouldn't be. Come on, go in there. Um, don't use any force. Um, but if they're when they are slotted in, just press them down. No, that's it. That's 32 gigs of RAM. It's actually way more than most users need. But I thought prices of RAM are not that crazy. And um, it's going to help us because I do a lot of um, multitasking, out tabbing, and all that. So, yeah, that's everything there is, I think, to installing RAM. We're going to move on to the CPU cooler in a minute. Bye, guys.